Pause überlegen. Utility. What does it mean to you? What is an icon? Is it something we aspire to or something we're inspired by? To build something truly remarkable, it helps to study those that have got it right the first time. The icons, the ones that pushed the boundaries of potential, the ones that changed the world. And I mean, they actually changed the world. Sure, the term 4x4 means something now, but it didn't way back when. You see, a handful of pioneers made it what it is today. Which ones? Glad you asked. Like with any good story, we'll start at the beginning. Picture this, the year is 1940 and the world is in the midst of a war. As you can only imagine, it was hell on earth. So the toughest conditions called for the toughest machines. Enter the Jeep, a light reconnaissance vehicle that conquered all. It went above and beyond its recon duty by carrying weapons, bearing stretchers, towing bombers and becoming the ultimate multi-purpose vehicle and I mean ultimate. Change the wheels, put it on a railway track, and it even became a train. Breakfast was cooked on the engine, and water could even be drawn from the cooling system for washing. That is a vehicle that prioritizes function over form, just like the Grenadier. The aftermath of the war meant that Britain's picture was no longer a pretty sight. Britain needed a pick-me-up, something to get it back on its feet. The Land Rover gave the lift and support the country needed. Just like how the Jeep prevailed during the war, the Land Rover prevailed in everyday life, epitomising a can-do attitude mixed with a little bit of elbow grease. Your plough needed pulling? Hook it up. You needed to spin that circular saw, no problem. If you wanted something that will tear up field after field for hours on end and still get you back in time for dinner, the Land Rover was it. This would withstand the daily punishment, no matter what. Those are two iconic vehicles, I am sure you will agree. But our story doesn't stop there, oh no. It continues in the Far East, where Japan had set its sights on making its own 4x4. The Land Cruiser put Japan's engineering on the map. It was built to reach new heights, and it did, literally. In the 1950s, the Land Cruiser climbed all the way to the Shinto Temple on Mount Agato something that was previously only possible on horseback, but more importantly, they made the ascent comfortable. Softer springs, a bigger interior. We all know the importance of legroom. It went everywhere and anywhere. And because of that, you will find a land cruiser in every corner of the world. Up the mountains, through the deserts, into the Arctic, it is an enduring, intrepid explorer, just like the Grenadier. Let's fast forward almost 30 years. The Germans finally throw their hat in the ring. They engineered a new definition of tough. From 1979, tough meant G-Wagon. Like the others, this started with a separate ladder frame chassis with a body on frame construction. A foundation as tough as that was meant it was set for some rough and tumble from the start, and it did just that. Over 26 years, one adventurous couple drove their G-Wagon 900,000 kilometers across 215 different countries. And today it's become an urban icon, some metal with some serious metal. Which brings us, with all that history, to now, today. The essence of these icons has been studied, cultivated and combined to create the Ineos Grenadier. A vehicle that prioritises function over form. A vehicle that withstands the daily punishment you put it through. A vehicle that endures and remains everlasting. A vehicle with some serious grit.
Add all that up and you get one vehicle for any occasion. A 4x4 ready for the present day. History as its blueprint.